Breaking, Trump receives horrifying death threat. Please pray. With the U.S. success in fighting terrorism in the Middle East, President Trump was bound to be targeted. According to Washington Free Beacon, an old adversary of the U.S. has used one of their media outlets to target Trump. al Hydra Media, an al-Qaeda supporter and propaganda outlet, has published a wanted, dead or alive poster targeting Trump. Newsweek reports that al-Qaeda has accused Trump of various crimes against Islam, such as treason, murder, injustice, kidnapping, massacre, extremism, negligence, hate. The poster is part of a message directed at the U.S. with several threats directed at the military. The propaganda piece claims history will repeat itself, citing the failures of the Obama and Bush administrations when attempting to fight al-Qaeda. Trump is talking about winning in Afghanistan. And you Americans, what do you think? Do you not know history? They claim the U.S. presence is solely for racist reasons, not to eradicate terrorism. It is clear that Trump is waging war only for his hatred of Muslims. You will never be victorious, you will be defeated. It finishes with the often used phrase that Afghanistan will be a graveyard for any U.S. troops that set foot on its soil. Animosity from Al-Qaeda isn't surprising considering their long-held hatred of the U.S. Infamously, on September 11, 2001, Al-Qaeda terrorists were able to hijack four planes and crash three into notable U.S. landmarks, killing nearly 3,000 people. Al-Qaeda's hatred of the U.S. stems from a religious-based aggression towards democracy and Western culture. There is also a resistance against the so-called imperialism of the U.S., which they claim uses foreign policy to control countries in the Middle East. Over the years, Al-Qaeda encountered infighting and a new terrorist organization splintered off to form ISIS. The rise of this new radical terrorist group pushed al-Qaeda into the shadows with diminished power. With ISIS suffering massive losses as U.S.-led coalition forces close in, al-Qaeda is no doubt seeking to fill the vacuum left behind and swell their numbers. Some believe that Trump's hardline stance against radical Islamic terrorism and the recent travel ban to countries known to harbor terrorists may have led some to perceive him as a racist. This perceived racism, fueled by false accusations from the left in the U.S. and via propaganda in the Middle East, could yield a rise in recruitment and the growth of terrorist cells in the U.S. In May, Al-Qaeda recruiter as Sahab issued propaganda messages to gather followers in the Western nations. He instructed them to cause the most damage in their efforts. Be perfect in your choice of targets, so that you may damage your enemies more. Be professional in your choice of weapons. It is not necessary that it should be a military tool. If you are able to pick a firearm, well and good, if not, the options are many. Though the death threats and wanted posters targeting Trump are concerning, it's possible they are used more for propaganda and awareness purposes than an actual call to action. That being said, there are many who may take the wanted posters seriously and seek to take action. Hopefully, the threats will amount to nothing and the president will be kept safe, and he'll be able to root out these terrorists who would seek to cause harm and chaos within America.